Christmas. And, uh, Mike, what did you get for Christmas? My very own mom and dad. What more could a kid want? A computerized baseball game. Oh, yeah, I got <laughs> one of those, too, Jeremy. Steve gave me one also. Wow, no kidding. We can have our own World Series. Well, that's great, but I tell you what, before the first inning, why don't you help with some of these packages, okay? Okay. There you go. Good, I get these. Gee, I sure hope the kids here at the hospital get swell gifts like ours. Yeah. Okay, who wants to set the board, boardroom for the party? Who wants to I will. It? Okay, let's I go. I do. Okay, okay listen, you on. guys go on ahead, and we'll catch up. Okay. okay. Come on. Bye. Bye. Any uh, messages? Say no. Say no. Uh, not a thing. Very <gasps> good. What about me? No, nothing for either one of you. And the uh, only message I have for you is, why don't you relax and enjoy the children's Christmas party? Thank you. Where are Luke and Laura? Well, we're not quite sure. We think they might have a surprise cooked up for the kids. Mm. Ooh. Any ideas? No, and even I couldn't get it out of them. <laughs> yeah, she tried. <laughs> she oh, she did. did. <laughs> so I guess we're all just going to have to wait and find out at the same time. Hello, yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, thanks, Lily. Are you having a nice Christmas so far? It's been that's because every day is going to be a great day. Hey, are you two at it again? Are you going to stand there in my skirt and make fun of the newlyweds? Uh, I realize it's still your official honeymoon, so it's a-okay. <laughs> well, it may even get worse, kid, so watch out. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Hello there. Hi. 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 Like a hundred presents. Dr. Hardy. Yeah, Mike and me and my mom are going to ball the console. Everything's wonderful, yeah. just wonderful. All we need now really are the children, right? Uh, not quiet, they got that ball. Oh, that's more careful. 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 Wait a minute. Whoa, Joe. Huh? Oh, I was really fine until I got my foot stuck in the door. Oh, yeah? You don't look too fine. Claudia and Brian's job. Yeah, where are they? Oh, where are they? Oh, we need them, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Amy, don't did. worry. We brought it right here. Yeah. All we need yeah. are the kids. We're on it. Okay, okay. Their oh, job is that. Uh, Santa Dan Rooney. Oh, God. Oh, well, I have something to tell you. I think this year Santa Dan and Zach and Captain Ramsey have a very special surprise for all of us. Uh, well, tell us. I'm going to tell us. you going to Well, Christmas has changed from one year to the next. Oh, yeah, especially in your family, Rick. <laughs> yes, well, two weddings in a row will do that. Oh, the time is done this year. Which yes. Is just about the best change of all. And General Hospital is $10 million richer, thanks to Helena Cassidyne. Although we almost all froze to death, no thanks to Mikos. Well, well, thanks to Luke and Laura, we're okay. You see, somehow, somewhere, our circumstances always just get better. I don't know about that. Nothing's changed for the better in my life this year. Well, wait and see. Maybe this year will be your year, Annie. That chance, that was Heather on the loose. Hey, has anybody seen Heather? Amy was saying that she was real excited about her first D.H. Christmas party. Uh, maybe that's her now. Merry Christmas! How wonderful! Well, hurry to the wedding. We must have worried that we missed the children arriving. Well, your timing couldn't have been better. Bobby just went down to help Dan and, and Ramsey and Zach. Oh, good. Uh, where's Scotty? I thought he would be with you, too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, well, I was a little surprised myself that he didn't come. But he always loved the, the party for kids. Well, Scotty is staying home hitting the books. That's yeah. what he's doing. But well, didn't anybody tell him it was Christmas? My son has become uh, a very dedicated young man. Yes, it seems he's really changing. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, my God. Is that you? 
Leslie, if you are a true friend, you will throw me some reindeer food. I knew I forgot something. I left the sugar cubes at home. I want you all to know that we're going to have plenty of fun and games and food and surprises. Oh, especially surprises. Yes, yes, a number of surprises. I said surprises. Deliriously happy. Yeah! All right, moving right along. I would like to bring from you, for you, and from the amazing place of magic called the Winter Palace. What? Did I hear someone say, where is the Winter Palace? Well, I have certainly heard of the, the Winter Palace. See there, magic already. The reindeer speaketh. Whoa! That's Rudolph! That is Rudolph. You're right. And guess what I got for you now? Because you are all so smart and believe in magic and bells and Rudolph, I bring to you from the Winter Palace the amazing and bizarre Bashur! Thank you, boys and girls. Now, as I'm sure all of you know, every magician requires a beautiful assistant to help him with his act. And I think I have just the candidate. Laura, would you join me here, please? Give her a round of applause. Laura, we're going to try a very simple piece of magic involving two colorful silk handkerchiefs. I'm going to ask that you hold these in your pretty little hand. Now, in addition to the green handkerchief and the purple handkerchief, I have an extra handkerchief. This one, a multicolored rainbow. I'm going to place this into my fist, Laura. I want you to watch this very carefully. But in order to make the magic happen, I'm going to need to borrow your magic wand. May I please? Of course. I wave the wand across my fist. And the handkerchief disappears. Whoa. Now, of course, the question remains, where is the colorful handkerchief? The answer is it has traveled across the ether. Young lady, wave the wand over your head. And as my wise young friend so cleverly pointed out, here is the handkerchief. Did you? Did you really like that? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You like that? You're going to just love this. Here to perform amazing feats of mental telepathy and mind reading, we have the lovely Lucas and Tiffany. Yes. They are stupendous, oh, horrendous, oh, mind oh, yes. 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 First thing about mind reading is we knew you were sick of looking at him. Okay, now what we have, the amazing Tiffany will assist the amazing Lucas Let in reading <laughs> y'all's mind. Okay, now number one, we are going to close my eyes. I will not look and I will tell you exactly what color of scarf she is holding up. And... Uh, uh, yellow. Uh, orange. Yellow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I told you it was amazing. <laughs> okay, and I think I found somebody whose name is Julie in the house. Are you Julie? That's my name. I thought so. And did you ask Santa Claus for a ballerina doll this year? He brought it to me, too. He did? How did you know that? I told you, baby. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. You cutie. And now, I also have another trick to tell you. Is there someone here named Russell who recently had a birthday? Can you guess how old I was? That's a tough one. Can you help me, Tiffany? Oh, I think I can handle that. Let's see. 21. Nope. <gasps> oh, I'm seven. Close enough! Oh. Let's hear it for Tiffany! Tells me there is someone in the house who has recently 
discovered and become the new son of a couple of real fine people. Who could that be? Mike? Hey, that's me! Hey, that's you! Hey, Luke! What do you mean, hey? Let's hear it for Mike! Yeah. All right, and now the most amazing feat of all, Margie. Margie? Oh, uh, Alice. Shirley. Uh, Jill! Yeah! Yeah! That's your name! I'm so proud of myself! Hey, have a cookie, Jill! And now we'll move right along. How are you guys doing? Your name's George, right? You are right, sweetheart. Well, thank you for being here. Um, I, I just feel a little strange. What? Uh, nothing. I'll be back in a minute. Amber. Amber! And you get two cookies for being Amber instead of Wilson. <laughs> and now, I bet you your name is... to close this magnificent act. I shall attempt the impossible. I shall attempt to read Santa's Mind. Oh. Come on, nobody can read Santa's Mind. Hey, pal, I didn't say it would be easy. <laughs> but I'm going to count on your entire concentration. Oh. All right, Santa? What are you thinking? No, 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 no. The question is, what are you thinking? Of course. I'll pay better attention. <laughs> I would say that you are thinking about all the toys and the games and the gifts that you have to give all these children later. Ho, ho, ho! No one can put by anything on Lucas Lorenzo. Thank you, sir, and nobody will put anything over on Santa Claus. Hold on to your stitches and hold on to your ingrown toenails. I now present one more time the amazing and bizarre Badger. Leisure domain. I'm going to require again some qualified assistance. That was a terrific I think act. For this particular piece, I had a lot of fun. I will call yeah. upon Dr. Yeah. Hardy and his lovely wife. Would you please help me out? We're going to try something together here. I don't know. The psychic stuff starts to get to you after a while, I guess. I want you to watch this very carefully yeah. because I'm going to surprise you. Yay! Yay. All right. Simple blue. The amazing Bajor is getting a bit old for this. <laughs> Doesn't have the lungs he used to. The balloon goes inside of the mystical box. <gasps> Keep your eyes on the balloon, boys and girls. Don't take your eyes off it for a moment. Watch carefully. We say the extraordinary magic words, homogenize. <gasps> Christopher, front and center, right over here. Let's see what we've got here. Hey, there's something interesting in the neck of your garment, my name. You know, I'm good. I like to take that into the back sometimes. Look at that. I imagine he's had an interesting career. I don't want to talk about his career. I just want to know how he does all those neat shirts. Jeremy, some things are left to the mystery of the vacation, didn't I? Yeah, I guess you wouldn't tell me anyway. Well, I, I, I think it's that time again. Ah, is it? I think it's time for the story. Yay! Would you really like that? Yeah. Really? Of course, I have to warn you, I only know the one story, but I promise you it's going to be a very special one. Is it the story of Christmas? Exactly the one I had in mind. All right, children, gather around. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I just... I thought I saw that, that tall man from the airplane. And I thought I saw him get in the elevator, but I... I don't know. Maybe I didn't. What do you, what, what do you think? It was your imagination? Yeah, it's I think the it was same, just my imagination. But it's the same guy you saw twice. 
No, it's it's just my imagination. I, I don't know. It's probably the, uh, all this magic stuff is just getting to me, you know? Yeah. It's either that or your wings. <laughs> Too tight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go, uh, let's go find him. No, no, let's just go back to the children, okay? Oh, I... No, you don't. I really do. Well, this is the story about the first Christmas, almost 2,000 years ago. It's also the story of a very special baby. The baby Jesus? Yes, indeed. But we're skipping ahead now. This was a bitter, cold winter night, when the wind was blowing so hard it made tears come to your eyes. And on that very night, a young couple was traveling on their way to Bethlehem. They were cold and very tired. Now, these two travelers were poor, so poor that they had only one donkey. The man was a carpenter named... Joseph. And his wife's name was... Mary! Yes. And Mary was going to have a baby. Well, they had a long, long distance to travel. Finally, after many, many miles, Joseph saw this dim light. It was an inn. And he told Mary that everything was going to be all right. Does everybody know what an inn is? Like a motel? Exactly. A place where you can spend the night and keep warm. And Joseph thought if he could get Mary out of the cold and she could rest a while, everything would be all right. So helping her along, they went to the door of the inn. Joseph knocked. And when the innkeeper opened the door, he took one look at this worn-out couple, and he knew. They had no money. And what did he say to them? Sorry, Joseph and Mary. That's right. He told them that they, they had no empty rooms. And he shut the door fast. Poor Joseph, he was terribly disappointed. He looked at Mary, and she was too tired to even cry. Maybe that's when he got this brilliant idea. The stable! Mm-hmm. And Joseph figured at least it would be warm there. And if Mary could get out of the cold and rest, she might still be all right. So they went to the stable. It was warm, all right. But very, very crowded with animals. Donkeys! Horses! Cows! Sheep! Mm-hmm. There were so many animals that it looked for a minute there that Joseph and Mary wouldn't be able to squeeze in. Then a very strange thing happened. The animals moved over and made room for Mary. Yes, that's right. They did. And Joseph got some fresh straw and fixed a bed for Mary. She lay down. And then a hush came over the stable. Like in a church. Even more quiet than that. The donkeys didn't break. And the cows didn't move. And in that hush, a baby was born. They called him Jesus. To teach us that there's good in all of us, that we can always improve our lives no matter what is happening in the past. He also taught us the most important thing in the world, that we should all love each other. More than that, Mike, we should understand and forgive each other, too. That's what this day is all about, the all-forgiving spirit of Christmas. Santa's helping. You mean we can help pass out the gifts? Think you guys can handle it? You can count on us, Mr. Root. Santa. Okay, come on, let's go. Well, come on, you two. Give someone else a chance and stuff. Now, you mean to tell me that there's only one thing of mistletoe at this party? I hate to break the news to you, my friend, but you've got the only piece of mistletoe in the entire house. Right. How about five more minutes? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, 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 lover boy, please, please. Your duties as Rudolph are not over yet. Come on. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, I'm jealous. Let's go. I appreciate it. Oh, 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 oh
Bobby, we are so thrilled about your new position in that hospital in New York. I'm excited. <laughs> you know, from the very beginning, Bobby, I knew you'd go far as a nurse. Well, I think I have you two to thank for that. Don't be so modest. <laughs>